Good morning, everyone. It's officially 4.45 in the morning on Friday, August 23rd, and I would like to invite you to join me on this momentous, some might call it slightly crazy, weekend trip that I'm doing. So it seems that my cell phone is better at night shots than my camera is. So, <laughs> hi everyone. This is Meja, who is very kindly <laughs> driving me to the airport. And uh, we should be there in about 10 to 15 minutes. So we will resume the vlog there. So, okay. The overall flights were manageable. Uh, I didn't have a window seat. However, I sat next to very nice people who had their window seat. And then, oh look, clouds and more clouds. And then as soon as we started getting towards Colorado, look, mountains. Lots of mountains. And then, when we got to Oregon, it was like, I don't know what I was expecting, maybe because I've never actually Googled what Oregon looks like, but it basically looked like a deserty mountain. Does that make sense to anyone? If you're from Oregon and you feel offended, I'm really sorry. I don't have better words to describe it. Can an Oregon native who's watching this please comment below and explain to me what this actually is? Because I'm bad at that. Hey guys, so let me bring you up to speed on what exactly I'm doing here in Oregon at the moment. Um, we'll go through this step by step just so that I don't have to keep repeating it. So this first meeting is with Mackenzie and Riley Zamber, also known as the wonderful, the lovely, the super talented hound and fox couple that I do reaction videos to all the time. We are going to be grabbing lunch over in uh, Grants Pass, Oregon. I'm in Medford at the moment, so they're on their way here to come and pick me up and drive over and I'm basically going to treat them to lunch. So I probably won't be vlogging this much just because I do want to, you know, actually enjoy their company while I'm here in Oregon to physically be in the same space as them. But I will share what I can and you guys should totally check them out. Um, I would say that I'm going to be leaving links down below of where you can see me fangirling over them, but that's basically like... 60% of my reaction videos, so we won't do that. I'll leave like the top three that I think are funny for you to watch. And I will meet you guys in a little bit here. So, just waiting on a text from Mackenzie. Hey guys, so I got a phone call from Mackenzie and they're here. And I'm gonna try not to completely freak out at the sight of, oh my God, there they are. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna spin the camera around. Oh geez, this is bright. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to scream and completely oh, fangirl. Hi. hi! How are you? Good to see you! Good to see you! How was Welcome. your drive over? Good, I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> hi! Good to meet you! Oh, you're real, finally. I know, Yay. I feel like kind of missed you. Ah. <laughs> I just said either inside or out. Because she said outside was longer, so I said whatever's first. Or where we should sit. That's fine because I'm so hungry. I know. That's my thing too. Freer than I am running to the outside. I brought this. Ah. <laughs> Alright everyone, this is Mackenzie and Riley Zamber of Hound and Fox, which uh, you guys have seen me fangirl over them multiple times, but <laughs> So we went to this place called Mimosas. Mamosas, it's two words. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sure there's a play on words in there somewhere, but anyway, we had a great lunch. I didn't take pictures of their lunches because you know, we just met and I didn't want it to be awkward. So here's a picture of my lunch. Turned out really, really well. After lunch was over, we hurried outside to, you know, film a little. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, so, okay, so it's over here, and then, but it's 
with Samsung. You're gonna snap, sort of, but not. Oh, cute. That's adorable! Yeah. Oh my god! Really <laughs> Stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was how to vlog, everyone. <laughs> so, moving right along, then, our lunch ended around two something. I didn't have to leave for my bus until five something. So Mackenzie kindly offered for me to go hang out at their house. My fangirl brain was like just general freak out, and then I was just, you know with my wonderful poker face was like, oh yeah, sure, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'd love to, of course. Mm -hmm. So I got to go over to their house and for their privacy, I obviously did not vlog. However, I did take pictures of the famous Hound and Fox pets. Here they are in no particular order, Monday, Wednesday, and Todd, of course, Todd. And I mean, like, it was just so crazy to get to see these lovely animals in real life after only having seen them like in Instagram stories and YouTube. It's like <laughs> the uh, the fangirl was being very well fed. It was an all out hound and fox buffet. I was getting a little bit of everything and I was so happy. Um, I also got to meet Rowan. Poor little guy was not feeling well so he didn't come for lunch but he was so cute. I don't know how there could be like a similar fan experience after this one. I mean, I literally went to their house. Like, that's so mind blowing, guys. Like, I, I'm blessed. That's all I have to say about that. So while I was at their place, Riley and Mackenzie made a very special point of bringing up another fan of theirs who they have also met in person named Jen. Here's her picture with Hound and Fox picture and they found out that she was going to be at the patron party for Peter Hollins the same event that I was going to they made it very 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 clear that I should find her and that we should be hound and fox buddies <laughs> or friends however you want to put it they thought we had a lot of common musical interests among other things so they figured we'd get along and yeah that's pretty sound logic stay tuned for the rest of the story about Jen uh, I will continue that in the vlog that's coming up. So cutting back to me, getting on the bus, and all my wonderful trials and tribulations that happened afterward. Here we go. So for reasons unknown, the Greyhound bus stop is located at a restaurant called Carl's Jr. And the uh, state of the sign for said bus stop is uh, questionable. I'm just gonna turn the camera around and show you. So there's Carl's Jr. And there is the very questionable bus stop sign, which is uh, toppled over and we couldn't see it. And poor Riley basically drove around in circles for like a good 15 minutes trying to help me locate said bus stop so I wouldn't end up stranded in some random location waiting for a bus that had no idea where I was. So that's all great. We're just gonna wait for the bus to get here and we'll see how it goes tonight. Hopefully I won't reach my Airbnb too late. So I'll touch base when we get there. Looks like my bus is here, maybe. That's not my bus. Nope. Just kidding. So the bus ride overall was actually quite pleasant. I uh, managed to catch up on a movie that I had intended to watch and I finally watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So, yay! Amidst the movie watching, I encountered a small problem. <laughs> As you'll see here. So we are in Springfield, Oregon, and it's been a while since I've traveled across time zones and I completely forgot what 
time changes can do it to your diet. diet. And basically, I'm um, only just not eating dinner. That's like and at least having looked at my clock, I realized it's 11 p.m. in Massachusetts right now, which explains why I'm still So, I am. Uh, Luckily, the Greyhound bus stopped at this place where it's basically next to like a Mexican restaurant. So I picked up a bean and cheese burrito, and after inhaling half of it, I realized why. So, fun times. Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> hey guys, so I just made it to Salem, Oregon where I'm going to be spending all of tomorrow and my Airbnb hostess has very kindly offered to come pick me up from the Greyhound station so there's that and yeah we'll see how convenient it is for me to vlog when I get there may or may not be but just wanted to check in just in case it wasn't going to be super convenient and unfortunately just due to sheer exhaustion and not so great lighting at the Airbnb. This is where the vlog ends. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not yet checked out The Amazing Hound and Fox, you can find all of their links down below. You should totally check them out. Shout out to Riley and Mackenzie for just being awesome individuals and even agreeing to this meetup. I, again, never thought that this would have been possible and I'm just so blessed that you guys agreed. Still reeling from the experience. I, I genuinely do not think I will ever forget this in my life. So that was part one of the Oregon vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part two, where I meet freaking Peter Hollins. Yes, that's right. It happened. Stay tuned. And we will continue on there. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mackenzie, where can people find you? <laughs> um, you can find us on Instagram at the Hound the Fox. The same on Twitter and Twitter and we're on? we're on Facebook. YouTube, Facebook. <laughs> Is there, all of our handles are the Hound the Fox because they don't let us have plus signs. Twitter so. has the underscore oh, between okay. for some reason. Basically, it will pop up if Who you knows? search for the Hound the Fox. Yeah, with the plus sign.